today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is what is the difference between interior angles and exterior angles so you'll we'll see one by one the differences between them and i also explain with the help of the diagram and the examples so i'm going to tell you the very important information about these two so stay tuned the first difference between the interior and exterior angle is their definition now as the name indicates interior means inside the word that we basically use so interior angle is defined as an angle inside the polygon so polygon is basically you can say a closed plane two dimensional di dimensional shape poly means many and gon means angle so a shape that has many angles and uh, a polygon is basically a plane two dimensional fig figure that is closed so an angle inside the shape or the closed figure is called the interior angle while exterior angle is defined as an angle outside the polygon so it's the angle that is formed outside the polygon now what does it mean i'll explain you with the help of diagram now for the time you just need to know that they are they are differentiated from each other in a way one is inside the shape or the closed figure inside the closed figure and the other angles are uh, but, but the exterior angles are the angles that are outside the closed shape that is outside the closed two dimensional figure now in terms of formation of these angles the interior angle is defined as the angle between two adjacent sides when they intersect now let's see i will take the example of the simplest um, uh, simplest two dimensional figure like the triangle and will show you the interior angle of the triangle so here we have a triangle it's a right angle triangle so here we have the angles if i mention here like this angle this angle this angle and we and if we label them they, they will be alpha beta gamma or whatever the label you want to give so this is a polygon and it has the angles that are inside the this shape so alpha beta gamma are the angles that are inside the shape and these angles are formed when the two adjacent sides are intersecting so it is clear that the side ab is intersecting is intersecting with the side ac side bc is intersecting with the side ac and side ab is intersecting with the side bc so all these sides are intersecting with each other and are forming the interior angles so alpha beta and gamma are, are the interior angles so in terms of formation the exterior angle is defined as angle formed when a side is extended so let's draw the triangle again a simplest polygon to find how you can um, get the exterior angles so this is a triangle when we extend the sides of the triangle like this and like this and like this we will get the exterior angles so here the exterior angles will be if i label them as this will be the exterior angle this will be the exterior angle and this will be the exterior angle so i'll say if i label them as this is a this is b and this is c so i can easily say that a b and c are exterior angles so these angles are not inside the polygon they are outside the polygon formed by extending the sides now the third difference between them is the interior angles range from 0 to 180 so their range is from 0 to 180 degree what does it mean it means the angle alpha beta and gamma will always have the value 0 to 180 degree they cannot have value above this while the range of the exterior angles is range will be 0 to 360 degree so they will have the value from 0 to 360 degree then the fourth difference between them is the sum of interior angles is sum is equals to n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree now here n is the number of sides of a polygon so i'll write i write here number of sides of polygon so here we have the triangle so the triangle have three sides so if i put n is equals to 3 i'll get sum is equals to 180 degree and we all know that the sum of the all the interior angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree so this is the generic formula for every polygon whether it's a triangle or a rectangle or a hexagon or a or whatever the 
polygon it is you can easily use this formula to find the sum of the interior angles so n is the number of sides of the polygon then we have for the exterior angle the sum of the exterior angles will always equal to 360 degree irrespective of the sides of a polygon so i'll write here sum of exterior angles is equals to 360 degree and the important thing is irrespective of the sides of the of the polygon so the last difference between the two types is why do we use the interior or exterior exterior angle so you can say that interior angles basically determine the shape of the polygon while the exterior angles determine the direction of rotation around the polygon the direction of rotation so rotation can also refers to its value of 360 degree that refers to a circle so it will be helpful in this way around polygon so that's all from today's lecture thank you